Lost Book of Nostradamus, Part 3, Warning of the Red Cancer. Pictures of the Lost Book of Nostradamus inform that the signal to the beginning of global cataclysms is the emergence of the woman with the keys given from the above to the symbolic of consciousness for reading the instructions for the transition of humanity to the highest level of the material world, that is, the kingdom of heaven. Nostradamus warns that the woman and global cataclysms will occur simultaneously. To transmit this information, Nostradamus depicts the body of the woman in tiara with the keys, grown together with the body of a snake, a symbol of cataclysms. Nostradamus also reveals the reason for the beginning of global cataclysms, the process of activating of the movement of tectonic plates of the planet, which will begin after the period of Zodiac Sagittarius after the end of the Mayan calendar, December 21, 2012, on the winter solstice. This process is connected with the transition of our star Sun and the planet Earth in the next cycle of development. Nostradamus, in the picture of Red Cancer, indicates the period of the onset of the cataclysm which he allocates from the whole chain of natural catastrophes. This is the period of Zodiac Cancer, from June 22nd to July 22nd. It is obvious that this cataclysm is unusual from its power. This is one of three preliminary cataclysms that will mark the beginning of global catastrophes. In another picture, Nostradamus shows the cause of its occurrence, the fault of tectonic plates. Thus, Nostradamus warns about super heavy natural blow. So one of the three preliminary cataclysms with the epicenter in the area of Greenland, Iceland, will happen in the period of Zodiac Cancer, from June 22nd to July 22nd, as a result of the fault of the Earth's crust at the bottom of the Atlantic between Greenland and the United Kingdom, through the connection line of two huge tectonic plates of North America and Eurasia. This happens due to the melting of glaciers in Greenland. This fault of the tectonic plates is presented today because in 2012, just in four days, from July 8th to July 12th, Greenland Glacier melted by 97%, despite the fact that the height of the glacier in the center of the island is about 3.5 kilometers, and the area is 972,000 square kilometers. It is obvious that such unprecedented rate of melting of the ice in Greenland happened due to the influence of superhigh temperature, which could only arise due to already formed fault of the tectonic plates beneath which is placed the upper part of the Earth's mantle with a temperature of 1200 degrees centigrade. The red color of boiled cancer in the picture of Nostradamus also indicates high temperature processes which will be connected with this pre-cataclysm. Another picture of Nostradamus with the fault of tectonic plates depict dead fishes floating belly up that obviously died the same way as the red cancer due to high temperature processes. Thus, Nostradamus informs about the general process of activation of the tectonic plates that will cover the planet after December 21, 2012. The strongest catastrophe that will occur as a result of the fault of tectonic plates in details describes the model of Russian scientist Nikolai Jarvin. As a result of the melting of Greenland glaciers and a lift of the edge of the plate is formed a tectonic fault. The masses of cold ocean water will rush into the rift and fall as on a hot frying pan on the top of the molten lava of the planet with temperatures of 1200 degrees C. This would lead to explosion of huge power because water will turn instantly into steam, expand incredibly and escape through the thickness of the ocean and rise to the stratosphere. In the atmosphere will be ejected a mixture of steam with basalt dust. Evaporated water in the planet's stratosphere will form a huge, horrible black cloud of volcanic ash and gases from the Earth's mantle, which will be shed on the Earth by the strongest rain. Rock from contact with ocean water will cool rapidly and cause a wave of earthquakes over the entire belt of faults. Earthquakes will cause a series of huge tsunamis which will demolish everything, organic and non-organic. The model of Jarvin informs that at some point, will occur underground chain reaction in the global rift system of the Earth. A tape of underwater volcanoes encircling the globe and forming a single huge underwater volcano with a length of 80,000 kilometers. As a result, 
on the entire length of the tape will explode volcanoes and will arrive a giant tsunami waves up to 10 kilometers high spreading by thousands of kilometers in all seas and oceans destroying cities a giant super tsunami will overcome the British Isles and the basalt Baltic basin will wash off Norway Sweden and Finland the second edge of the cataclysm will go toward America passing over the Appalachian Mountains, it will flood the valley of the Mississippi River, destroying everything in its way. It will affect the whole of Russia, from edge to edge. Britain, most of North America, and Western Europe will be destroyed, predicts Akimedician Javrin. He notes that no one knows when it will happen, in two years or twenty years, but one thing is clear. A catastrophe is inevitable. Nostradamus, depicting boiled red cancer, argues that the cataclysm, according to this model, still will happen on our planet. The red color of the cancer in the picture indicates that a future catastrophe is associated with high temperature processes, which corresponds to the model of Jarvan. Ragged more than half cell of the individual consciousness of all people, painted in green, the color of life in the drawing of red cancer depicts the death of more than half the population of the world as a result of the catastrophe. The claws of the red cancer boiled in the cataclysm that complement the cell to its full size show thus a large number of human losses. On the other hand, the picture through the symbols indicates the necessity for unification of the consciousness of humanity as the only way for salvation from the gold cataclysms. About the occurrence of the cataclysm warns not only the picture of the red cancer, but also the great Stonehenge. Every year in the summer solstice on June 21st, one day before the period of the zodiac cancer, June 22nd to July 22nd, in Stonehenge appears the world-famous effect or solar beam which observed thousands of people from around the world. Appearing over the horizon, the first ray of sunlight cuts through the huge megalithic circle exactly in the middle in two symmetrical halves. This effect warns about the possible occurrence of one of the three preliminary cataclysms, harbingers of global and calls for the unification of consciousness for the transition while there is still time. And indeed for the transition still there is a whole day. Effect occurs before the period of possible beginning of the preliminary cataclysm. Two other preliminary cataclysms will occur on September 22nd and 23rd and March 23rd and 21st in the dates of fall and spring, equinoxes accordingly. They also will arise as a result of the fault of the tectonic plates. This information report the Mexican complex of Chichen Itza through a shadow effect of descending serpent, a symbol of cataclysms, as well as a complex Chauva de Juantuar in Peru through a light effect. Both of these preliminary cataclysms will have two epicenters, in the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Peru, in the region of the Brazilian magnetic anomaly at the intersection of two currents, the Humboldt and El Nino, and also in the Gulf of Mexico. This is indicated by many Mexican complexes of extraterrestrial civilizations in the Yucatan Peninsula, depicting numerous serpents, a symbol of global cataclysms that eat humans, devouring them. Edgar Cayce, the famous American predictor, warned about the natural blow that will hit the cities of the eastern and western parts of North America. He informed that, in a few minutes, waters of the Mexican Gulf will merge with the Great Lakes. Moreover, the cities of the west coast, San Francisco, Los Angeles, will be destroyed before the east coast cities. On the epicenter off the coast of Peru, indicate numerous Peruvian complexes. However, most clearly, about it informs the complex of Chan Chan with two incredibly long perpendicular walls with wavy patterns of fishes along its whole length depicting huge tsunami waves. This preliminary cataclysm of incredible strength with the epicenter off the coast of America Nostradamus depicts by huge green serpent that encircles the neck of Indian with red feathers. Native American resident in the picture, the Wheel of Time. The onset of the period of the beginning of global cataclysms in the picture shows a black rooster, the symbol of Armageddon. Having started, all three pre-cataclysms will occur during one year as a result of the fault of tectonic plates. However, the year of the beginning of cataclysms and their sequence is not yet known. 
The first pre-cataclysm is the weakest of the three. However, it will cover vast areas, bring great losses of people, and destroy numerous nuclear power plants. This period of time Nostradamus characterizes as the following. Common blood will flood the earth, people will be living with closed mouths, and unpredictable will come. By this, he informs about the occurrence of high level of radiation on the planet due to the cataclysm and destruction of numerous nuclear power plants. Humanity will experience the incredible power only of this, the weakest of the three preliminary cataclysms. The second pre-cataclysm will be extremely massive and cover a huge area. After that, mankind will not be able to make the transition. The huge losses of people and high level of radiation, which is incompatible with the life of human and organic nature, already will not allow mankind to make the transition. The third pre-cataclysm, the strongest of the three, as a result of the mega tsunamis lowering and lifting various parts of the land, the water will cover almost the entire surface of the planet. Shortly will begin a global cataclysms that will destroy the remaining population of the planet. About the growing power of three preliminary cataclysms by the degree of flooding, Nostradamus reports in the picture. Angel of the Apocalypse and the Woman with the Key. This information Nostradamus shows by the rise of the water level in the three windows through openings located in the side of the platform that depicts the land surface of the planet where humanity lives. On the platform is depicted the woman with the keys of the kingdom of heaven and detailed instructions explaining how humanity can make the transition there. The picture shows that the third, the most powerful pre-cataclysm will flood almost the entire planet because the third through an opening of the platform is filled with water up to the top. On the platform stands the woman with the keys and the instructions for the transition. Her feet are placed between the first and second windows through openings. This means that, in accordance with the instructions, humanity has to make the transition before the second pre-cataclysm. So, Nostradamus, by indicating the third date of the pre-cataclysm, thereby poses the last point in setting the dates of all three pre-cataclysms. However, the year of occurrence of pre-cataclysms and their sequence are still unknown, though many facts indicate that cataclysms will begin very soon. It is important to note that predicting the date of the pre-cataclysm is not our mission. This is only side information of this work. Our mission is to help civilization to make the transition to the highest level of the material world into the new cycle of life. It will begin immediately after the first pre-cataclysm. However, according to the information given from the above, we already have warned four times on our website about strong natural disasters. Three warnings were correct. Hurricane Irene, called by scientists as the hurricane of the century, as well as the strongest earthquake in Mexico of 7.4 magnitude. Besides it, before December 21, 2012, we informed that the cataclysm of the end of the world will not happen. And only one disaster on September 22, 2012 did not happen. However, it was not a mistake. It was just a threatening warning due to which information about the beginning of global cataclysms more widely spread across the planet. September 22nd is the date of one of the preliminary cataclysms, and this cataclysm will happen and just on this day. However, humanity was not ready for it, not widely informed, and not able to avoid its deadly blow. Nostradamus informed that the reason for the beginning of global cataclysms is the profound weakening of the activity of the processes of the sun. Scientists note that our star sun is in a state of deep solar winter, Moreover, solar activity, now even five times lower than in the lowest known minimum of Dalton, which was observed 300 years ago. However, as it is known, in the period of lower solar activity activates natural disasters, strongest and numerous earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, etc. Unusually profound weakening of solar activity at the present time is connected with the beginning of the transition of the Sun from the system of Earth into the system of Venus the next planet of life of humanity. On Venus, mankind will continue to improve consciousness only after the completion of cycle of correction in harmony of Earth. However, on Venus has already begun the preparation for the meetings with humanity that will occur in many millions of years. The planet Earth on December 21, 2012 
transferred into the group of planets of the past development of consciousness in the system of its gradual destruction. Planets of this group, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, reveal the different phases of the process of gradual destruction of the planets. The Earth would be similar to a dead trunk of a once powerful and majestic tree. All this information describes from different angles the causes and consequences of three preliminary cataclysms of incredible power. However, humanity will experience the improbable power of only the first, the weakest of the three, and the only preliminary cataclysm. Before the second cataclysm, mankind has to make the transition to a safe, highest level of the material world. Delay means destruction. Thus, Nostradamus, in his pictures, not only warns humanity about the beginning of global cataclysms of the planet's destruction, he answers the question frequently arising in the minds of the Earth people, how to survive in the events of the end of the world. Nostradamus informs that there is only one way of salvation, which is indicated from the above. Through the unification of consciousness, Civilization has to make the transition to the highest level of the material world. Nostradamus also informs that the detailed instructions for the transition will be handed to mankind from the above in the written form. More information is presented on our website www.ourtransition.info